So now I'm going to show you how to publish your data to the field. So you're going to be able to use this process for legacy devices such as SCS 900 devices or GCS 900 devices as well as the most recent SiteWorks and Earthworks systems. Also, you're going to use this process regardless of whether you're publishing it to the cloud, to Works Manager, to send files remotely, or if you're going to stick it on a USB drive. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're logged in to Trimble. So with a TID, you will click in the login button on the start page and make sure that you log in with your TID. If you don't have a TID, you can set one up at this time. Then you're going to open your project. And in your project, you can see here, I've got a surface and I've got some line work. So I'm going to go and show you this. And I also have some utilities. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the construction data tab. And even though we're not publishing the works manager for this particular example, I'm going to use the works manager workflow. The steps I'm going to skip in this particular case is the works manager project setup, um, which is setting up the project in works manager. We'll talk about that in another video as well as publishing designs to works manager. So what we're going to do here is we're actually going to publish an offline design. So the first thing you do is you go to Works Manager Project. You have to set up that project here in your Trimble Business Center project. When the Assign Works Manager Project dialog box appears, you're going to pick your account. So you can see here I have a whole list of accounts. What the account that I'm going to use is actually at the bottom. So you may only see one or two of these, but I'm going to use the offline project or account. Then I'm going to go into the project and I'm going to create a new offline project. You'll see that it pops up and it populates the name of my current business center project. So I'm going to leave that the way it is. I'm going to click OK. And I'll click OK. Now over here, we don't have to resolve any of this data, but in this particular case, I am going to add in my control points. So I'm going to click on the plus minus. I'm going to go into select my layer and I'm just going to pick my point layer here so that it picks up my control points because this will create a control point file for me. So I'm going to click OK and then add. And then I'm going to click OK to this. And I'm not going to resolve any of this information. The next step is to create my design. So I can close this dialog box and then I can come up to create works manager design. So now I can create multiple designs for this project. I can create, you know, maybe I'm just taking out utilities or I'm doing grading or whatever, right? So I'm just going to call this finished grading is my design. I'm going to click OK. And then it's going to let me select my model and my line work. So what I'm going to do here is go to change model. I'm going to select either surface or an alignment or a road surface, you know, depending on what you're, you're using. So I'm going to click surface. I have one surface in here, which is the finished ground surface, but I can select those surfaces or even create a new one on the fly. I'm not going to use the surface boundary. I'm just going to take that entire boundary and I'm going to click OK. Next, I'm going to come down here and grab any stakeout points. In this case, I don't have any, but I do have a design map. So I'm going to click on the plus minus. And I'm going to come in here and I'm going to deselect my points. And then I'm just going to come up and I'm going to do the select by layer again. And in this case, I'm just going to go into my 3D view and I'm going to pick the lines that I want to stake out. And I can either do it from the 3D view or the 2D view. So I'm going to grab the property line. We'll grab our sidewalk up here. Make sure we got that. We'll grab this dumpster pad that we have. All right. So I'm just grabbing these line work information, which is just my 2D information. I could also select my 3D information. And I'm going to grab the utilities as well. So I want to stake out my storm system. And click OK or close there. I'm going to click Add. It added those. I'll click OK. 
and now I have my data for my design and I'm going to publish. I'm going to get a warning message. This is fine. I'm going to click yes to this and that's going to publish out my design. I can close this now. And then the last step is to come up to works manager field data to USB drive. I'm going to select on that and it's going to come up with another dialog box it's going to let me select my design that i want to publish to the usb drive as well as the drive so i'm going to pick on design finish grading it's going to give me a little warning that's fine we understand that and then you can choose whether you want to go to ses gcs siteworks or earthworks i'm going to select all i'm going to put it on a drive now you can click on this button here to select a different location. So you can put it on your PC. You can put it on any other external hard drive. In this case, I have an SD card in my D drive here. So I'm gonna use that and it defaulted to that. And I'm gonna click publish. It'll take a second and then it'll say the process is complete. And I'm gonna look at my D drive now and you'll see that what happened is it created a bunch of different folders. There's machine data control or machine control data. If you go into it, you see all finished grading. And there's my SVL, SVD, my Cal file and my control point file. If we go back and we look at the project library, projects, there's my project, office data. There's my Cal file and my VCL design. So there's the VCL that I can now send to Earthworks or Siteworks, but you also have the GeoData folder. So it's just showing that corner system database, which isn't really important for what we're doing, but the SCS 900 data, if I go into there, you'll see I've got my DC file, my control point file, my XML file, my designs, DXF and TTM. And then if I go back out, I've got my SiteWorks data, which again is similar to the SCS, except this time the design is a VCL. So pretty simple process. You create your project, you create your design, and you publish to the field. If you do eventually get to Works, uh, Works Manager, you can simply then just publish that design to Works Manager and your design will be sent to the cloud and then your field devices can synchronize and you'll have the data out into the field.